Wake up, Ted. Wake up. Bear, wake up. What in the... Why are you yelling? You passed out. No. <clears throat> I was just... Just resting my eyes for a minute. Shut up and listen. I was in the auditorium just now and saw some commotion up here. Up here? It seems someone snuck up on you and hit you over the head with that bottle. Sure. Why not? That's what happened. I think whoever knocked you out locked the door behind me. Wait, we're locked in. Most definitely. Hmm. Any other exits? There's a protection window, but the projector is too close. Can't squeeze through. Okay. Let's see if you can move that thing somehow. It's a wrench. I'll take it. Bought of old Carrot Hill. Someone hit Ted over the head with it. Yeah, those bastards, you know. I'll take it with me. I'll take this one. Maybe we can use it on that window over there. Huh. It's as thick as they come. Must be something important. I'll take it with me. We can tie these into a rope. There. We should be able to move it now. There. We can get a bit closer to the window now. What are you even doing here? It was your sister's idea. It's... this whole thing. Hey, where is she? How come you're here? She had to take care of something. She asked me to step in for a bit. She did? That's what I just said. Hmm. Anyways, I'm not explaining all of this to you. Why not? You'll be gone as soon as Amber gets back, so what's the point? We both know this detective game isn't your cup of tea, superhero boy. She... She what? Where is she? I told you. She had something to do. You know, in real life. Hmm. She hasn't told me anything. Well, she was in a hurry. All this sounds really strange, kid. You know that. Look, you can talk to her when she gets back. Get off my case. Fine. Let's focus on getting the hell out of here first, and then I'll brief you in. Let's lock it in place. I'll just leave it here on the floor. Now if I could tie this to the window, maybe we could use a projector to pull it open. Okay, this could work. Bear? The film looks strong enough. Go for it. Great job, kid. Vandalism at its best. There! Now I can use it as a rope. There we go. Holy shit, kid. You actually pulled it off. There. Nothing to it. You didn't pull a muscle, did you? Pull a muscle? I'm made of stuffing. Anyways, let's get going. Go where? What were you even doing here? Okay, quick briefing. Robots are disappearing all over the city, and their union hired me and your sister to find out who's behind it. And? And what? Who's behind it? What do you? We're in the middle of the goddamn investigation. Sounds like sloppy work to me. Yeah, like you'd know what work sounds like. Fair enough. There was this guy who went missing, Robbie, left a coat behind with a movie ticket. So? The date on the ticket. It was the same night he went missing. Okay, I get it. Anyways, I didn't find anything. But 
Somebody else was apparently bothered by us snooping around here. That's good. How's that good? Relatively. It means we're on the right track. Let's go back to the entrance. Rossum, the old robot who works here, he must have seen someone enter after us. To the entrance, Ted. Keep it down, goddammit. What is this, loud idiot day? So, where is this robot of yours? Hmm. I guess he left. He left, all right. Left everything wide open and all the lights on. Is trust not valued anymore by your generation? I can't tell if you're being serious. I'm not. Where the hell is this Ross guy, Ted? Rossum. And I don't know, kid. He was here before. He let me in. There are bolts all over the floor. And it kind of looks like... God damn it. You think? He's gone, kid. Whoever locked us in there, they've got him now. So? Now what? Look around for a bit. See if you can find anything. Sure. It says, get your ass down to Jungle Jazz Bar this weekend and try our famous Southside Fizz. One free drink with this coupon. Take it with you. Um, I feel like it's an important clue. Hmm. The coupon part was torn off, Ted. Throw it away, then. Who cares? I'll take it with me. Maybe we could use it somehow. I'll pick them up. I'll take it with me. I could use it as a club, maybe. Let's head back to the Union and report to Lifty. Never took you for the by-the-book guy. Me neither. But what else are we going to do? Stand here like a couple of boobs? I mean... It all started a couple of days ago. I just got released from the hospital after two weeks of intensive care. I got messed up bad. And by her, of all people... Betty was always on the emotional side. And when her blood gets to boiling, all hell breaks loose. It's what I really liked about her. The bullet grazed my left ear, the doctor said, and if it weren't for the fall, I would have gotten away unscathed. But then, I wouldn't have learned anything. She tried to do me in. That much is clear. I can't really hold it against her. Not after what I did. And I'd rather have her do it than some lowlife down at the docks. No point in crying about it, really. No point in doing anything at all anymore, I thought. Amber pulled me out of it for a while. Made me take on this case. I guess it's better than doing nothing. I have to keep my mind busy. When I'm left alone, I tend to languish. Anyways, this case, it's all sorts of wrong. Someone is hell-bent on taking all the tin heads out of commission. Parts are being left behind in dark alleys. Mouths are being kept shut, and blind eyes are being turned. Lifty Workovsky, head of the robot union. Odd broad. She was the one who called us. I guess having all them robots missing is starting to reel in some real bad rap. After this last guy, Robbie, disappeared, we went snooping around his place for a bit. There was nothing out of the ordinary. But we found this ticket stub in one of his jackets. Not much of a lead, but it was the only one we had. Amber was supposed to meet me at the cinema, but she was a no-show. Flint's a good kid. I have nothing against him. But we never spent all that much time together. Seeing as all the women in my life decided to collectively quit, I guess this is as good a time as any. I just hope the kid won't slow me down too much. 
Well, you sure slowed us down back there. I'm shorter than you, goddammit. I can't walk as fast. Well, maybe if you would pick up the pace a little, I wouldn't need to wait pick on you. Pick up the pace. It's, always something it's not. You, isn't it's it? not all about it's the steps, someone else's kid. Fault when things don't I'm shorter, and therefore have shorter steps. It's basic physics. What are you? Hey! You could have walked hey, a bit slower. Hey, what the hell? Who's this kid now? This is Doug. Dougie. He sells insurance. Name's Flint, ma'am. I mean, really, Ted? How many of these kids do you intend to put in peril? Is the girl dead already? She's fine. He's stepping in for a bit. Listen, we were at the cinema just now. We found a ticket stub in Robbie's jacket. I imagine so. The Union had a meeting at the Lux that night. And you thought now was a good time to mention this? You're a real piece of work, you know that. Oh, careful you don't fall off that high horse, Bear. You seem fond of falling lately. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Anyways, there was another one tonight. You ruined another bar owner with your excessive debt? Rossum Heel, the old guy who sells tickets. Know him. Yeah, but... He went missing tonight. Holy motherboard! Ted, you need to do something. This is starting to look really bad. Yeah, starting to anyways. Wanted to let you know you're off the paper daily. Robbie worked there, right? He was an accountant there. Go, you two. Get there fast. As fast as our feet will carry us. Which, in his case, turns out it's not that fast. Don't you own a car? You're like 40. A car? He barely owns a pair of pants. I like this kid. Where did you find him? He was on sale down at Stupid Kids Depot. Want him? I'm all set. Get out of my office, Bear. And next time, show me some results. Yeah, yeah. See you around. Bye, Miss Warkowski. Take care, kid. Hey, Sam. Ted, you're healing up nicely. Only on the outside. I went to see you at the PC General. You're out cold, though. That morphine, let me tell you. Literally the only good thing about that place. Yeah, plus all the healthcare. Sure, if you're into that sort of thing. Listen, Sam, I didn't come here to reminisce. Right, you're here because of Robbie. How could you know that already? It's his job, kid. There's a saying in Paper City. When in doubt, ask Blabbermouth. There's a saying like that? No, I just made it up. Catchy. I thought no one would be here this late. You mean OCD? He's always here. I'd rather if he wasn't. Why? You plan on doing something shady? Only if you consider breaking and entering shady. Go ahead. OCD's arranging tomorrow's print. I'll cover for you. Thanks, Sam. I owe you one. You owe me more than one, Bear. I keep a tab. You, lowlife. I missed you. Good thing Betty's not a great shot, buddy. It's nice to have you around. So many papers. It's only paperwork, kid. No need to waste our best years. Okay, so what are we looking for? Something out of place. Like? I don't know. Something, goddammit. Do what your sister would have done. Detect. <sighs> Fine. And don't give me that attitude. You wanted to help. Now help. I said fine. I'll look around or whatever. What? Oh, no. What? It's a noose. I mean, we've all been there. I'll take it. Feels like I'm doing him a favor. I've got some news, Ted. I mean, this is a newsroom. What happened? Robbie, they found some of his parts down by the river. Great. That's great. <coughs> um... Come on. You know what I mean. Not great, obviously, but it'll give me something to work with. Are you heading there now? I can't just leave yet, and I need to confirm this lead. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I'll let you know if I find something.
<laughs> poor, poor Mr. Eeks. Oh, my lord. What a tragedy. Such a mishap. Misfortune. Such a... Malady? Hey, Eeks. Why so blue? Ted, my friend, is that really you? Can you smell it, Bear? Yeah, I think there's something down there. It's my camembert. You lost your cheese? Kid, please. Yes, boy. It rolled down the levee. So you can't get it yourself because it's just too darn heavy? Listen, you wouldn't happen to know anything about some robot. He was seen around here. You mean that tinhead who just recently disappeared? Robbie, that's the one. Is he around? I think the poor guy might have drowned. He's down there by the riverbank, Ted, but I honestly think he might be dead. Well, he's a robot, Eeks. It takes a lot to take them out. No doubt. Ted, we need to see what this is all about. Okay, please. Enough with the pros. Ted had it up to his nose. <laughs> <laughs> We need to get down there, somehow. And we'll get your cheese, too, while we're at it. Don't worry, buddy. Oh, all the blessings to you, Snoop. You two go ahead. I need to go... P um, let's go faster, Ted. Does he speak exclusively in rhymes? Well, he is a poet, and he does seem to know it. Hmm, doesn't seem to be a good one. What gave it away? The homelessness? Anyways, you need to get down there. Me? Who else? Eeks? He's like a hundred. What about you? Huh. Closer to forty-five. Kid, we don't have all night. We need to get you down there. Ugh, fine, whatever. I'll take it with me. Maybe I'll get inspired. Hmm, this could work. I'll just take it. Hope no one will miss it. You didn't have to throw the shovel into the river. Why not? We might need it again? Nah, we won't. Nice, I got the climbing rope. As opposed to... Well, a hanging rope. Oh, boy. Is this him? Used to be. What do you think happened? I don't... I don't know. You need to get him out. Any ideas? Not at the moment. Hey, on the plus side, there's the cheese. Yeah, there it is. All our troubles are over now. I can't reach it. Just forget about the cheese. Oh, no! Ted, please! No, I didn't mean it like that. Eeks. Oh my god. I'll pick it up. Maybe it'll come in handy. I'll take it. You never know. I'll take it with me. It reminds me of something I've seen earlier. This could work, actually. I could use this to pull him out.
I could probably reach the other end of the rope now. Top of the world, ma. There. Now I just need to pull on it. Got him. I got the legs. Hey, kid. You got it? Got what? The super heavy rust and mud covered robot? No, Ted. I don't have it. Well, what's the holdup? I mean... My dear boy, did you find my... Geez. Yeah, it's down there, but I can't reach it. I thought maybe I could use your cane? Oh, yes, yes. No need to explain. Here you go, son. Just bring it back as soon as you're done. I need that plank over there, too. Oh, you do? Um, yes. Some of the parts are stuck in the river. I need to get close. And there's nothing else of use but my plank, I suppose? That's what I just said. Okay, how about you go and get my cheese first instead? Okay, fine. But I'll need that plank. Yes, yes. Now off with you, down that riverbank. There, I got it. I got the stupid cheese. Here's your stupid cheese. That thing weighs a ton, by the way. Hooray! A million and one thanks to you, my boy. You saved the day. Great. Now, for the actual thing we're here for. Let me catch my breath, goddammit. It's not a race. Eeks, about that plank. You made a deal. Ah, yes. A wooden board in exchange for my cheese wheel. Take it, boy. It's yours. Now you can do even more chores. Yeah, you hear that? More chores. You know. I'm sure I do. Get cracking, kid. We're pressed for time. Lazy good for nothing I oughta. Hey. No mumbling. Great. I got the piece of wood. It was almost worth the trouble. Great, that worked. I can get closer now. I got it! I got his... Ew. Head, I guess. So, we all set? Yeah, no thanks to you. Let's not get into the whole who did or didn't do all the work. So what's next? Hmm. What? You see, the thing about Tin Heads is that they're almost impossible to take out completely. What do you mean? Is he not dead? Only in the sense of him not being alive. Anymore. Well, how do we... We? Do I look like a roboticist to you? No, kid. We need to get him to Fixie Mender. Who? A friend of mine. And as luck would have it, she's also the best mechanic this side of the Dredge River. Pretty convenient. And she can fix him? Hopefully. See you around, Eeks. Yeah, enjoy your cheese and planks and whatnot. Thank you, boys. And you have fun advancing the plot. Oh, 
stupid later. <sighs> Just my luck. Hi there. Is this the new hair salon everyone's been telling me about? Well, well. I'll be damned. You're still among the living? You seem surprised. Last I heard, Betty did you in. Nah. I mean, she tried. Bless her heart. Actresses. If it were me, you'd be hanging upside down with stuffing coming out your mouth. Your husband's the lucky guy, Fix. My husband knows better than to do what you did. She cared about you, scumbag. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Aye, aye. Let me guess. You need my help. Help is such a strong word. Well, you see, I can't seem to get my lighter to work. And? And if I don't have a smoke soon, you'll get to experience what I was just talking about just now. About you hanging upside down? The kid gets it. Wait, you're not... How's this dashing young man, Ted? That's Barney Darney. He's a carney. Name's Flint, ma'am. Nice to meet you, Flint. I'm Fixie. Now, if you two don't want for the three of us to be in the papers tomorrow, go and fetch some gas for me later. Do I look? Shut your booze hole and get me some goddamn gasoline, Ted, okay? Jeez, fine. But don't get used to this. Check the junkyard. There's bound to be some there. I'll just pick this up. Sure. Someone may trip over it. Okay, sport. We're alone now. What's eating you? What? What do you mean? You're less talkative than usual, and mostly you seem anxious. What's the deal? Does it have to do with your sister? Yes. No. I mean, why does it matter? Ugh. I can't have you moping around like that while we're on this case. I need you to focus, and you can't do that if you're somewhere else. I'll try. Can we just let it go for now? Hmm. Fine. Let's just find some gasoline, okay? Sure. Can't go wrong with a set of cables, I always say. You say that? I mean, when there's an opportunity. I'll take it, you never know. There, I got it unstuck. I could use an empty canister. I'll take it with me. I'll take it. We could use this for the gas. There. Now I just need the hose. There. It's just filling up by itself. Ah. That's weird. Pick it up and let's head back to that jittery junk dealer. We found some gasoline, ma'am. You're a lifesaver, kid. So, now that we supported your habit, maybe we can talk. What's on your mind? Wait, does this have anything to do with the missing tin heads? It does. I already talked to the cops, Ted. I don't know anything about that. It's not. We need your mechanical know-how. What did you do? We found Robbie. Ted thinks you can fix him. What? Ted, are you insane? That's my suspicion. You can't bring him here! Take him to the hospital! No. I need to talk to him. Before the police do. I could get into a lot of trouble for this bear. Yeah. 
Well, I knew a girl once. She was all about getting into trouble. That was all oh, Ian. That was a different time, Ted. Listen, I need your help. We have the poor guy here. I really need to find out what he knows. I... I can't. We can stop further kidnappings, Fix. Please, ma'am. Mm. Oh, I can't say no to that pretty face. Thanks. I would blush, but I'm monochromatic. I was talking to the kid, you goon. I know. Here, I've opened my repair shop. Take him there. You're a doll. I owe you one. Aye, aye. Shut up and get him on the workbench. I'll have a look at him. Okay, what did you find? It's his outer shell. Most of the internal components are missing. Well, well, kid. Looks and brains. Give us ladies a chance, at least. Okay, can you fix him? Hmm, maybe. But right off the bat, I can tell you he's missing some things. A warm companion. Here's the blueprint, funny guy. You get around, don't ya? Now get around to doing something constructive. You heard the lady, son. Let's get to walking around some more. Hmm. I'll show you a lady. There you go, buddy. You'll be right as rain in no time. Yeah. Keep your head up, you know. Okay, he's got legs. He can aspire to become a dancer yet again. All right, he's armed. I'll take it. It seems Fixie has more than enough. That's solid reasoning. We need these for Robbie. There you go. This should do the trick. Now's your chance. I'll take these, now that she's gone. Hey, there's a typo on this one. What are you doing, Ted? Now I need to do it all over again. Have fun. All right, I got it. Kaka! What the? Hmm. What are you up to, Bear? Just admiring your work. Admire it tomorrow morning. I'm busy. It was a fingerprint scanner after all. The safe opened up. Have a look, will you? I'll take it with me. According to the blueprint, Robbie needs this.
cool. He'll be able to see now. Eyesight is neat. Right? Here's your, I'm guessing, eyeballs? Nice. It fits. Whatever it is. Don't worry about it. Okay, this is probably the most important one. How do you figure? It's for his memory. There. That's all of him. Can you fix the guy? You're still missing something, cowboys. But it might be a little harder to get. What? A ratchet relay. Can't you just fix him without it? I just need him to talk, not dance around. It's... are you serious? Hmm. Oh. No. No, of course not. Where can we find one? It's your guess as well as mine, kid. There's a shortage on the market. However... However... There might be some available on the other market. If you catch my drift. Ah, that's great. Prepare to hang around some really creepy people, kid. Why are we going to your bird watching club? <laughs> ha ha, very funny. No, we're going to the Jungle Jazz Bar. I mean, of course it's a bar. See you in a little while, doll. Bye, Miss Fixie. Bye, handsome. Boy, when they told me there's other fish in the sea, I hoped they didn't mean you two. <laughs> that keeps getting funnier every time, Snoop. Hey, comedy comes in threes. Then, then you should have stopped saying that 40 attempts ago! This is nice, right? The four of us, back together again. I've literally never seen this kid in my life. This? This is Gus Awesome, England's best spy in the world. Sure, why not? We need some information. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Listen, we're in a good mood. So, to keep it that way, I think it's best for you two to scram! Yeah, ha <laughs> ha, shoo. Good one, bear. Ha <laughs> Huh, thought so. Wise guys. What's this, bear? This? Oh. It's nothing. Just something that may, or may not, incriminate you, in regards to the recent series of robot kidnappings. I bet there's a matching coupon in your coat. For a nice, cold, Southside fizz. It expires today, right? Okay, what do you two want? A little birdie told us you might know someone. Keep your bird-watching nonsense to yourself, Bear. That's not even. Okay, enough with the wisecracking. We're looking for a ratchet relay. What he said. Yeah? Join the club, Gus. There's a shortage these days. I mean, a luminarium might have some still. Oh yeah, go ask Skinner. I'm sure he's in a charitable mood, given the season. Yeah, <laughs> charitable. <laughs> right. A luminarium? I should have thought of that. Yeah, you shoulda. Man, Betty must have messed you up something fierce. Okay, we're done here. No, oh, just when it was about to get all personal. We'll catch you two idiots later. Shadowing. Hey, give our regards to the missus. Uh. Boy, everyone's really letting you have it with the whole Betty thing. What happened there? I'm not getting into this right now. Fine. What's a luminarium? Paper City's industrial light manufacturer. Well, they ought to have some relays. My thought exactly. But their CEO is a tough nut kid. Just let me do all the talking. You've literally been doing all the talking this whole time. Okay, good, so you're familiar with the concept. Let's go. Oh 
my god. What the... Smiley Skinner, I presume. Ah, it's the lawman. Gentlemen, keep it short. I'm somewhat in a hurry. Leaving the country. There it is, Ted's famous wit. Even though we've never had the pleasure, Ted, I'm afraid your infamy precedes you. You and me both, pal. Let's get right to the brass tacks. We need a ratchet relay, and it seems there's a shortage these days. You're well informed, Ted. You seem to be doing just fine in that department. How come? Now, 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 gentlemen. I wouldn't be much of a CEO if I was just to give away company secrets. Your company secrets are what we call reasonable suspicion. And what am I being suspect of? Running a successful business in the post-war depression? How about robot kidnappings? Heard about that? Ah, yes. Nasty business. However, as I already told the real police, I don't know anything about that. Hear that, kid? The real police. How could you tell? Did they have mustard stains on their badges? Gentlemen, I'm afraid this is all the time I could spare. Just as an expression of goodwill, I'll tell you this. We get the relays from our reserves. Reserves? We buy them in bulks, so there's some left still. But hopefully this shortage won't last past this winter. Hmm. Sure. Gentlemen, now if you'll excuse me. You're excused, Smiley. Could we bother you for one such relay? I'm afraid that's out of the question. There's a shortage after all. Of course. Well, we had to try. Okay, so now what? Hmm. He's acting off. Right. Like he can't spare one relay? That is strange. Also... There was an interesting piece of paper on his desk. What kind of paper? I'm not sure yet. Let's go back to the Union. I need to speak to that copper crone again. Just the booze hound I wanted to see. Any news? They say that hyperinflation is inevitable. Apparently, it's common in post-war economy. About the case? Any news about the case? Oh, right. We found Robbie. Robertson? Holy motherboard. Is he okay? Yeah. No, I mean no. He's pretty dismantled right now. But how? It's fine. We can fix him. We're missing a single component, though. What? What is it? Kid. A ratchet relay. Oh, but there's a shortage these days. You think? Anyways, we found someone who might have some still. But... He wasn't really cooperative. Skinner? Oh, so you know Smiley. That heartless scumbag. He wouldn't spare a light bulb to save his own son. Ugh. We're kind of stuck here. If we get the thing, the hatchet. Ratchet relay. Relay. Thanks, kid. We can get valuable information. We could close the case. Well, what are you waiting for? Go get it. Um, that might require some breaking in. I seriously don't care. Just get the relay. Ted. Okay, okay. No need to blow a fuse. Get the thing. Solve the case. Bye, Miss Lift. Get out. Sheesh. See what I mean? Let's go, kid. There's a bar downtown we have to visit first. Of course there is. What'll it be, boys? The usual, Jay. I'll have the same. No, he won't. Give him a lemonade. Hey, coming right up. Oof. Tough night. Ah, kid. Okay, I gotta ask now. What's the deal with, um, Betty? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, fine. All right, there's this young actress. Betty. She and I. We were an item. So what happened? Something idiots like me tend to do, kid. I messed up. Can't you, like, apologize? <laughs> <sighs> Not this time. You'll get it when you're a bit older. You care for her. I did. But that's all over with. Is it? You're having a hard time with this case. You seem absent-minded. Yeah. Well, so do you. And since we're sharing, mind telling me what the hell is going on now? Where's the little lassie bear? I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah. Kid, where is your sister? She's fine. 
Well, you see, you keep saying that. She had to go to the hospital, all right? There. Can we drop it now? What? Why? What's wrong? She secretly ate one of the cookies from my batch, and my mom and dad had to take her to the hospital. What the hell? You could have told me that. Uh, I'm so sorry. I mean, it's fine. Is she... It's not fine, Ted. She's... she's really sick, and it's all my fault. Kid, she had an allergic reaction. It's not your fault. But it is okay. We got into a fight before bedtime about the cookies, and I dared her to eat one. Hey, now, come on. Kids, you know, they do stupid things like this all the time. Right, Jay? Also, some adults I know. <laughs> okay, you're making this worse. The point is, everyone makes their own choices. And sure, sometimes there might be a nudge from someone else. But in the end, it all comes down to what you'll decide. No one can do that for you. It was so scary, Bear. She couldn't breathe, and then I just stood there. I didn't know what to do. Don't worry, kid. Amber's tough. She'll be fine. She went through this once before, remember? I get it now. You're waiting for them to come back. That's why you're here. I... I didn't know what to do, so... I thought I'd help her out with the case while I wait, you know? I thought... It was something to do, right? I can't stand the waiting. I get it. But don't be so hard on yourself. The fact that you're bothered so much by it really shows that you genuinely care for your sister. Right, Jay? So you messed up. It happens. Just ask this guy over there. I mean... But you seem like a good kid to me. None of us are perfect, laddie. We all make mistakes. Or, in other words, we make our own choices. And choices have consequences. Where a man truly shows who he is, is how he deals with the choices he's made. Good or bad. That's right. Like right now, you have a choice. You can stay here and hang around with this big-headed oaf. Or... You can make the right choice and come help me break into the factory. That doesn't seem like the right choice at all. I guess it doesn't. But hey, it's something to do, right? Thanks, Bear. Thanks for what? For giving me something to do. Don't mention it, champ. Now, let's go and steal that relay thing. We have a long night ahead, you and I. Uh, should I put this on your No tablet? time to talk, Jay. The kid and I have a case to solve. Just go. Go, kid, go. All right, kid. Here we are. Here we are. So, once we get you over that fence and into that factory... What? Are you insane? These are the latest Cyberus V8 Robo-Dogs. I'm not going anywhere near them. Don't forget the searchlight. Sure, and the searchlight. It'll be like a candlelight dinner to them. Okay, fine. Maybe not the best idea. I mean, it's just negligence at this point, Ted. All right, fine. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. Hey, what about that car over there? What about it? I'm going to ram it into that fence. I mean, sure, that's as sound as it gets with you. We need the keys, though. There's a guardhouse. They could be in there. Worth a look, at least. Let's go. Alright, this should keep them busy for a while. That's right. It's my toy now. Maybe don't rub it in their faces. Whoa. What is this? The dog factory? Can't help but notice the lack of fences here. Yeah. Just keep your voice down and don't provoke him. Good doggy. There's the key, kid. Right behind that guy. Go fetch! Oh. 
Oh no, where'd that car come from? It was a murdering death robot kid. Let's not lament too long. I got them, Ted. I have eyes, kid. Keep it down. Oops. Let me get that real quick and... Dad, why is your life so farcical? I wish I knew, kid. It's as if a clown has put a curse on me. Great. So now what? Okay. So, once you get over that fence and into that factory... Forget it, Bear. I'm not climbing that fence. Well, I guess there's only one thing left. Is it me climbing the fence? Yeah. No. I mean, no. Okay. We can go and ask Fixie for help. She can help us. Okay. My vote's on Fixie. Sure. Let's head back. But you deal with her this time. Ma'am, we need your help. Hmm, let me guess. You tried to steal some poor guy's car keys, but then Ted dropped them, and then some wild animal probably took them and ran off! Okay, wow. That's... that's exactly what happened. It was a seagull, and he flew away. Whatever, Bozo. He is a screwdriver. You can use this. Thanks, ma'am. Make sure you bring it back. I'm not running a screwdriver charity here. Well, let's hope this works. Oh my god, are you okay? <coughs> sure, sure. I'm... I'm fine. <coughs> are you though? Yeah, yeah, you? I'm okay. Well, you failed miserably, but somehow it worked out even better. What do you... Look, you even decommissioned the dogs. What? What dogs? Let's go, kid. You sure you're okay? Hello? Hello? That's weird. What is? Let's see if we can fire this thing up. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's get to work. <laughs> Nicely done, Ted. Nicely done. This box. It's full of relays. But there's supposed to be a shortage. It doesn't matter. Get one that'll fit in Robbie and let's go. This one, Ted. It's his. Sure. That one. Will it fit? No, you don't get it. It's Robbie's relay. See? The cereal's the same. What? What the hell? How's that? Is... Is Skinner using robot relays to produce his headlights? It appears so. Holy Christ. This is huge, kid. But we can't jump to any conclusions just yet. 
evidence is all here, Ted. Not all of it. I need to get into his office somehow. I saw something earlier that piqued my interest. What's your plan? Hmm. I'm not sure yet. But it's going to be reckless. I'll definitely keep this. Now that's an idea. Good thinking, champ. I think we're on the same page here. Bon voyage, bear. Just be careful, you know. Alrighty, now to find things to tape. Hello there. It looks like someone tried to dispose of this evidence. Okay, I think this is it. Now I just need to tape them back together again. Great, just great. I love wasting time. All right, good start.
Bingo, I need to call Locke. Stanton, is that you? Yeah, it's Ted. How's Barb? Good, good. Listen, I need to talk to the commissioner. It's really important. Sure, I'll wait. Thanks, champ. Locke, it's Ted. No, wait, wait, goddammit. I have news. No, why would I be in his office? That's... What? What's caller ID? No, wait. Okay, fine. Fine, I'm at his office, but listen. I found some stuff down here. You need to send someone here to check this out. It seems that good old Smiley was behind the recent kidnappings all along. What? Yeah. I mean, I had a few. That's not important right now. Will you listen to me? There's plenty of solid evidence in his production line, and I even found a paper trail proving he was working with an external provider. That's right. That bastard is stealing robot relays and using them for his headlights. Believe me. Don't believe me. I couldn't care less. Just send someone down here with a warrant and turn this place upside down. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'm on my way out anyways. Just send someone fast and... Lock. Lock. He hung up. It's time to wrap this up, Ted. Found what you were looking for? I did. There was a receipt on his desk earlier, which he tore up, and which I, in turn, taped back together. What did it say on the receipt? It didn't say who it was from, but it did say our dear friends Harry and Barry delivered the package. Wait, those two idiots from before? Yeah, those two idiots from before. Okay, so let's go get them. No, not yet. Let's go back to the repair shop first. Oh boy, what a mess this turned out to be. After stumbling for a while in the metaphorical dark, a literal light shined on the case. A light in the form of industrial lights manufacturer, Illuminarium. Smiley Skinner, their CEO, was ordering heaps of relays from an unknown source in order to stay ahead of the competition in this time of shortage. The only problem was, the relays he was ordering were being taken from his fellow robots, leaving their stripped husks all over town. Despicable, if you ask me. Not that anyone ever does, though. We were lucky enough, I guess, to come across Robbie Robotson, one of the most recent kidnappees. His missing relay brought us to Skinner's doorstep. And wouldn't you know it, we found his relay, among others, in Skinner's production line. Locke came through, surprisingly, and arrests were made. Smiley is facing some serious charges, and I hope he goes down for a long, long time. It's only fitting. On the other hand, I know we're not done yet. Even though Skinner is out of the race, he was just ordering the stuff. Someone else was the supplier. But who? I already know those two rotten trout are behind all of this, but they're not exactly the thinking types. Someone else is pulling the strings. Someone who knows how to stay out of the lights. I'll drag them out, eventually. Right now, I have an accountant to resurrect. Hopefully, he'll have some more information regarding all of this. The kid turned out to be of great help, after all. Not only does he have really good ideas, he's also fairly strong for his age, saving me from having to actually do... much. The thing about Amber shook me up a bit. I'll admit, and I understand now why he was acting so weird. It's got to be hard on the kid, blaming himself like that. But as I told him already, it wasn't his fault. I know deep down Amber's going to be just fine. She always is. She's a fighter. And it seems both apples didn't fall far from the tree. These two kids, 
They just don't know how to quit. I got to admire that, and whoever the mysterious supplier is will learn to fear that. So, found the river yet? Or did you find another building to fall out of? As a matter of fact, we did. Wait, really? Yeah, really. It was exhausting. We had a break in. Let me just intervene here, before incriminating stuff gets said. It's fine. I don't even want to know. Alright, boys. What do you say we put this accountant back together again? And then you can get the hell out of my shop. Well, when you put it like that... All right, I hope it works. Well, it's not yellow, that's for sure. This one is blue. It's as red as red goes. Obvious one. Where does it go though? All right, he's booting up. Oh, my head, head, what? Head. Where, where am I? Take it easy, buddy. You're among friends. What? <coughs> what? What's going on? It's a long story. You were kidnapped, murdered, and stripped of your internal parts. Although not too long, I guess. I, I was dead? Holy motherboard! Hey, aren't you that guy who's dating Betty Davis? I mean... <laughs> you have some catching up to do, accountant. This bundle of joy here is Fixie Mender. She's the one who put you back together. I'm sorry. This is a lot to take in all at once. Can you remember anything about the night you were kidnapped? No. I, after the union meeting, I got to my apartment, and, and the next thing I knew, I, I woke up here. Wait, wait, wait. Don't you record everything you hear? What if you were recording for a couple of minutes still, like, like, like after you died, you know? Kid, you're a genius. I, I, I guess I could work. Uh, uh, let me check. Happy birthday. Ready for your present. Oh, oh. What did you... <coughs> um, um, uh, that's, that's not... Uh, that, that, that's something else. Um, uh, just a second. Oh, Robbie! It, it's, it's still not... Uh, 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 let me just... Um, uh... <coughs> uh, should I be here for this? Ah, there we go. Please be the right one. Get his feet first, Bear 
Sorry. Come on, man. We, we talked about this. What are you talking about? When we're working, call me the fresh. No one is ever going to call you that, buddy. Ever. But it's my code name. You know what? Fine. I'll make sure that's what it says on your tombstone after she's through with you. Okay, fresh? Holy shit, you're right! Let's help me back! Yeah, you know how she gets. She? Okay, you too. What the hell is going on? You'll read about it in the papers tomorrow. We don't have time to explain it now. Who are they talking about, Ted? I don't know, kid. Although... What? Nothing. Let's get to the Jungle Jazz Bar. We have some fish to catch. What about this guy over here? I, I don't think I can walk j just yet. Huh. That's what she... Don't you dare! Right. You stay here, buddy. Fixie will take care of you. Won't you, Fix? What the hell? Do I look like a nurse? We'll be back for him. I owe you one. You're great. Ted, you better fix this fast, goddammit! Oh, damn! Oh, damn it! Damn you! Bye, miss. I'm sorry. You're off the hook, sweet chicks. Just hurry up. So, what, uh, um, what, what, what's your deal? Ah, oh, I'm happily married, Tiger. Oh. Yeah. A am I missing a finger? Look, Bear, it's the defectives! Good one, Harold! Yeah, good one, Harold. It'll be the real zinger inside the joint. What the hell are you talking about, Bear? Don't you have some other actress you can let down again? Okay, I've had enough. Shh. Lily's about to start. Yeah! Why don't you appreciate some art? There's literally no talking to them. Hmm. Let's cut this concert short so we can corner them. What do you have in mind? Leave it to me. I'm sorry, Lily. I hope she lands on something soft. Oh, good. I was hoping I'd get something heavy and broken to carry around again. Oh, no. What happened to the music? <sighs> it's anyone's guess, Snoop. Oh, my God, Harold! This is just like that dream I had, remember? What? I need a drink. This was underwhelming. I'm freaking out, Harry! All right, just calm down. Jesus, have one of them cocktails you love so much. Yeah, anyways, I need a word with you two. Eh, we're looking to wet our beaks right now, Snoop. So unless you know how to mix drinks, we'll see you when we see you. Yeah, let's have brunch sometime.
There we go. Careful. Oh, it's just how I imagined it. Look, Harold, it's beautiful. It sure is a beaut. And it has your eyes. Mazel tov. Here's a quarter for your effort, Bear. Listen, Snoop. We're not really in the mood, so, uh... No. You listen to me, now. Why should we? I found Robbie, you stupid idiots. The proverbial jig. It's up. Whoa, whoa. Who? Robbie Robotson. As if he'll tell you anything. Why wouldn't he? Bear, remember what we talked about? Not only you talking to the police? Safe bet. Okay, Ted. You got our attention. Hey, is that a bat on the ceiling? You got my attention. Let's say you did find him. Presumably, he told you some things, right? Right. Okay, smart guy. Barry here desperately wants to be called by a code name when he's out and about. What's the code name? The Fresh. All right, but you could have heard that anywhere. Like where? Mm, fair enough. Okay, you got lucky. I'm still not convinced, though. Okay, fine. Let's drag this out some more. After Barry bites the bullet, where did I say I'll mention his code name? His tombstone. Hmm. That's right, his tombstone. Okay, let's move on. Hmm. I can't tell if it's just blind luck, or if you really know something. Hey, you came up with the damn system. Can we continue? I need to call the cops on you. Okay, fine. If we're carrying out a body, um, but like a hypothetical body... Sure, sure. What do I always tell Barry to grab first? Feet. Yeah, feet. Good job, Snoop. Okay, what's going on here? How do you know all this? I told you, idiots. I got the key witness. And I got the paper trail proving you delivered his parts to Skinner. Who, by the way, just got arrested. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so what the hell do you want? I want to make a deal. Sure. Okay, sure. Did you see? There really was a bat up there! Hey. Wait, what are we talking about? Who are you calling? Locke. Shh. Stanton. Stanton, is that you? Yeah, I need to talk to the commissioner. Is he in? Come on, man. I need to talk to him. It's important. Well, tell him it's someone else. I owe you, buddy. Locke. Yeah, no, it's me. But wait, wait. I have some new info on the case. What do you mean it's done? It's not done. Skinner was just buying the stuff. Someone else? What? Listen, just meet me at the old lighthouse. Tonight down by the bay. Bring the boys and... Lock? Lock? Ugh. God damn it. He hung up? He hung up. So what? We're on our own? Like that's out of the norm. Once more into the fray, kid. You up for it? It's really not fair. You know that. What isn't? How everyone's treating you. I... It's fine, kid. I'm not doing this for credit. Still, you basically solved this case on your own. I wasn't on my own. I had some help. So what now? Let's go see how Robbie's doing. Hey, sweet cheeks. How you holding up? I mean... Really, Ted? What? I was talking to him. Oh, I I'm just getting some rest. M my head is still... 
That's great, buddy. Good to hear it. Listen, we need your help. What's the plan here, Ted? Okay. As far as PCPD is concerned, the case is closed. Smiley is going down for a long time. Great! Case closed. Get out! Not quite, doll. Oh. Those two idiots are going to meet with whoever's hiring them. Tonight. And your plan is to... We're going to bring the heat. But you just said that the police aren't going to help. The police aren't, but you are. Oh, I don't know about this. It, 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 it sounds dangerous. Don't worry. You were already dead once today. Oh, okay then. So? We need to make some modifications to this guy first. Oh, I get it. We're gonna bluff. That's right, kid. We'll need some bright lights up there. Play some police noises and boom. We got ourselves a confession. Well, either that or we'll get shot. That's... that's what I mean. Either is fine. Um... All right, people. Let's get to work. And when I say people, I mean you, Fix. I got that, Ted. So this is the place? It's the place, all right. But it's not the time. Yet. No, I mean for the showdown. I like the location. It's... it's nice. Kind of a cliché, if you ask me. But no one ever... Dad? Yeah? For what it's worth, I had fun working with you. Ah, shucks, kid. Don't get all mushy on me now. Shut up. I just wanted to let you know. That's all. Thanks, kid. I had a good time, too. But it's not over yet, mind you. I know, I know. So, shall we go check what's inside? That's the plan. I'll take the bandages with me. You never know. It's full of light bulbs. Take one with you. Way ahead of you. Nice. The bulb fits. Okay. Hope this stays on. This should work. I still think welding was a better idea. What? No. I'm not turning him into Frankenstein's monster. This will do. There. It's working. It's using power from his auxiliary battery. How are you feeling, Robbie? It feels okay, I, I guess. Great. We're all set. I have a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, kid. This is definitely not the stupidest thing I've ever done. Just shut up, Ted. You're not helping. Fair enough. Let's go. Finally! Try not to get him killed again. He'll be fine, won't you? Um, I really don't think... See. Okay, let's head out. All right, Accountant. This is it. You ready? I'm... I, I don't... Will you stop freaking him out? Right. I'm sorry. Listen, Robbie, it's going to be fine. The kid and I are going up top. And you stay here hidden. Uh, um... Exactly. When you hear the door slam up top, you start blasting that light and play some police sounds. That's it. Can you do that? Yeah. <coughs> sure, I, I, I can do that. I knew you'd pull through. You're one of them tough accountants, aren't you? I mean, I, I was voted. Yeah, I know you are. You stay hidden until you hear the door slam, okay? Okay. I'm ready, guys. G good luck. Okay. The boys in blue are on their way. Where's your employer? She'll be here soon. Just remember the deal, Bear. We get full immunity. I can't get you full immunity. You're kidnappers. Okay, but maybe half immunity? Um, sure. Why not? Shh, I hear someone. Okay, this is it. Places, people.
Good evening, ma'am. What's good about it? Ma'am, we were thinking, and... No, you won't. Otherwise, you wouldn't tell that goddamn bear about the relays. I... I'm still talking, Fresh. Now, Skinner got arrested. But we thought you wanted him out of the picture! Not like this. The bulls will make him sing. You two need to take care of it. <clears throat> Speaking of the police... What's this? Lose the cloak, would you? You're not fooling anyone. Well, well. You two got this far? I'm somewhat impressed. Miss Warkovsky? I mean, kid, you're the only one still surprised by this? He doesn't know you well enough. I should have known something was up. I'm surrounded by incompetent idiots. And by us! And yet, the only one I hired because he is an incompetent idiot turned out to not be so incompetent after all. Good job, Bear. Oh, by the way, I cracked the case. It was you all along. Well, you're still not getting paid. Seeing you behind bars will do. That's funny, Snoop. In case you forgot how to count, you're outnumbered. But, are we really? I've had enough of this. Take care of him, will ya? Um, door slam. What's this? You brought the police? So, mind doing a recount? Go to hell, Snoop! What are you waiting for? Shoot him! I'm... I'm sorry, ma'am. What? What are you... Kill them! Now! Ma'am, we have... They sold you out, is what he's trying to say. It's over, Miss Rakowski. Harold, you spineless bastard! <sighs> I didn't expect that. I did. Told you this was a cliché location. These things always turn out this way. I'm sorry, Barry. I can't believe he's gone, Gus! Come on, let's go get Robbie. Yeah, he's probably freaking out. Somehow, this all turned out for the best. I would rather see Lifty Warkovsky behind bars than dead, but I guess she didn't share my sentiment. The bodies were never recovered, however, and it's anyone's guess as to what happened to them. The official statement issued by the PCPD pinned Skinner as the sole mastermind behind the events. Despite my best efforts to expose the whole truth, Locke wasn't interested. A scumbag in jail is worth two scumbags in the wild, he said. On the bright side, with a little help from the fresh, all the missing robots were dug up and put back together. He got a good deal in the process. He never did see Harold again, though. At the press conference, Locke and his goons took the stage. We were pushed aside, but hey, as I told the kid already, I'm not doing this for credit. Some robots were saved. That's enough for me. In the light of all the recent events, I finally mustered up some courage to pick up the phone and give Betty a call. All I got was her voicemail. It will be a long time before I find the courage again. I like to think she's better off. Anyways, I guess, in the end, just like me, she kind of dodged a bullet, too. Robbie's doing fine. He's back to his usual self. Whatever that is. Fixie Mender got a little press coverage as well. Her business got a boost, and I'm really glad for her. I'm glad for all of them. I've spent so much time brushing up against Paper City's underbelly that I forgot about the good people living here. People I like to call friends. I'm sad to see the kid go, but I understand. He's got his own thing going on. 
there's not much room left for an old relic such as myself. And that's... that's okay. I'm sure Amber is going to be just fine. The important thing is that Flint now understands that what happened wasn't really his fault. I'm just glad that by the end he got to feel a little more at ease. Sam caught us as we were leaving the conference. He took a picture of the real hero, as he puts it. I couldn't agree more. Who cares about recognition anyways? The kid was the real hero of the story. He did good. He saved them robots, and he saved me. He gave me something to do. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah. I feel a little lightheaded, that's all. I mean, it was a hell of a case, kid. I'm surprised you're still awake. Well, not for long, it seems. You just rest, kid. I'll wake you up when we're home. Hey, Ted? Yeah. I was thinking. Now, that's dangerous. No, seriously. Maybe we could do this again sometime. You know, you and me. Oh, and Amber. Like, the three of us. That. That sounds nice, kid. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's. <coughs> Could you close the window? Sure, buddy. <coughs> There's ash from the engine flying in. <coughs> Just a sec. Thank you. No, kid. Thank you.